I thought I'd do a video today at Furbeck Airport or RAF station. So I'm on Furbeck Road and if you look up there you'll find a, a red phone box. If you come further down till you see the uh, footpath sign. And if you look that, down that way it'll take you down to the black line on the corner you've gone too far. So uh, there's a sign across there pointing towards it on the other side of the road. Just there. And you can see turning into a state there. So I'm going to travel down this footpath. And if you just follow the footpath all around, you'll come to a monument. And when you get to that monument, I'll uh, start the video again. So I've walked on the footpath from the main road, I come in from that direction and then it sort of bends around at this point if you carry on following it round you're going to come to the actual monument to the RAF station so I'll pick up with you right at the monument so I'm now at the monument for the RAF station and you can see that picture of the airfield site so what you can do is stop the video at this point in time and have a look at that map then what I'm going to do is swing round I've come from down there down that footpath and you can see Furbeck High Street I think it's St Martin's Church there and the uh, High Street sweeps round but the actual RAF station you can see the concrete base here, swept round right from round here and round there. But you can pick an idea up of it from the actual map that I hope you froze on the screen. And you can also play the video back. So now there's a bit of history because it was an RAF station in the Second World War, but it was more like a small aerodrome before that. It was used for flying in dignitaries, the elite, into Furbeck Hall. Furbeck Hall was a posh country club and people like the Prince of Wales would fly their private planes into this small aerodrome, grass strip, and then go to the local country club. Now, Furbeck Hall was famous for BBC Saturday night concerts from there and various other things. Now, during the war, Furbeck Hall became both an annex to, I think it's Sheffield Infirmary Hospital, but it was also the base for the RAF station. Then after the war, there was no need for the RAF station and because it was no longer a country club, it was a, an hospital the aerodrome shut down, the RAF station shut down in 1948. Now, Furbeck Hall got bought out by a miners trust and they used to rehabilitate, rehabilitate miners there up to the 1980s. Then after the 1980s, it got closed down, got bought out one by one developer after another and now Furbeck Hall is actually being turned into private flats, not back into a country club. Anyway, that's a little bit of history about this site here. So if you want to pop down and visit it, and I'll just show you the monument again. And it is dedicated to the Polish airmen, I think, who served here. I'm sure you can find out more information on the internet. So that's a short, sharp video of RAF Furbeck and the aerodrome. It was just like probably another Thorpe aerodrome that still exists near Thorpe Salvin. So, speak to you later anyway. Bye.